Hello, 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 everybody. We are going to be doing a review on the Colette Baron Reed, The Enchanted Map Oracle. Now, this deck, it came out in 2011, and this is actually one of my first Oracle decks. Well, not my first, but one of the ones that I pro well, I wanted to utilize in order to really build on my intuition. There's two reasons why I wanted to build use this deck. At the time, it was quite new, um, and I, to be honest, I really think that this is where Hay House really got into oracle decks in such a big way and i mean once you start looking at these cards i'll start to put them up on the screen in a moment when when you look at these cards you'll really see that the vibrancy and the artistry of these cards is still relevant today you know that they're just fantastically done that it wasn't a rushed deck it wasn't just quickly put together colette is a fabulous teacher and the cards really obviously do include that same sort of, I, I want to say, her same sort of uh, knowledge because a lot of it, you know, there's so much depth to these Oracle cards. So let's just push this back. Let me put up my stand here so we can look at the cards. Just had to move my light a bit so hopefully it makes the cards stand out all right because they are quite glossy cards. They are very glossy. This is the original deck. I have the gold on the side, the gold gilding, but... I think with Hay House they removed all this and I'm quite happy. I'm, I'm sure that there was a big hoo-ha a few months or not a few months, a few years ago about the actual cards and how, you know, it's not environmentally great, you know, and that's why the gilding was removed. So mine might have lasted through heaps. As I said, I learned, I, I did a lot of readings with these. Um, fantastic book, but we'll look at that. So that's the reverse of the card. We've got the compass there. There is a compass card on here it's about always being pointed in the right direction spirit will always guide you in the right direction you know you'll always be facing the right way so let's have a look at the cards itself let's go through them all the bone collector so shall i zoom in maybe i should zoom in a little bit so you can see the cards a bit more clearer clearly that's great so you can really see you know if you're wanting to learn to read intuitively there's lots of things going on on each card each deck that you can utilize you know you've got the rabbit there you've got the star here you've got the clock with time you've got the peacock feather and you've obviously got the actual guidebook now the guidebook is big as i always say with the hay house guidebooks they stand the test of time no pages have ever fallen out with with my deck they show here in the deck about what the, the guide what the card or the oracle is about but it also shows the reverse meaning so in case if you get a card and it's upside down it shows the reverse meaning as well so that's quite interesting so we'll continue on this is a garden gentle gardener and it's sort of when i started reading i used to always pull this card when spirit wanted to pop in so that's quite interesting but this is all about nurturing be careful of your mind your thoughts you know you're, you're hatching it there be very mindful of it she's tending over your garden or also as well be aware of the of that number three is all about meditation being in the present moment and i'm just sort of giving you snippets about this in this way there if you wanted to read this intuitively it could be starting a new you know the autumn leaves are breaking away what's not serving you i read this one this evening this was about you know negative thoughts and being in a negative place and but i looked at this tree here and it was pointing down on the person and i said someone's trying to someone forces you to feel negative you know but yet there is a light here but you've got to force yourself up the mountain so the artistry is beautiful and as i said you know made over a decade ago these cards have not aged you know the the artistry is so still relevant today as as they were you know a decade ago so you've got storm fields so it's quite interesting me not using these cards for such a long time and now i pulled them out and i'm like oh my goodness you know gosh i remember this card i remember this card you know so it's interesting like for instance with the rock bottom here it, it's sort of like you get to rock bottom but it's a positive thing because there's only one way now and that's up you know you can't go any further down so that's an interesting take on this one so I remember pulling out this one a lot. But yes, I learnt to read intuitively using this deck. It was very helpful. And I think after I was successfully started to read with this one, I then moved on to her other deck, which is just as beautiful, but very, very um, light in colours. It reminds me of Megan, Megan Waters, her decks. There you've got this one, you know, be careful of your boundaries and be aware of your boundaries. 
so but just beautiful again you've got the keyword here that helps you know and the guidebook itself i know a lot of guidebooks don't have the pictures on it this guidebook does and i really think it helps you to reinforce and remember what the card's about i mean this one is two ways it could be a warning sign here there's warning signs here it could be about a relationship person place and all thing and then you've really got to work hard and get through what you've got to get through flying high you know you could be stuck down here but yet you can fly up high up there field of dreams it's just beautiful you know oops beautiful beautiful messages here intention you know you've got here that the dandelion for wishes so lots of different messages this one's just you know it is a good good luck about fortunes but it's also a reminder here that fortunes just isn't about you know what we own or what we possess this card I read this evening and it was about a lady who was stuck in grief you know she sort of felt like when her partner had died that she had to remain unhappy which was quite quite sad metamorphosis I feel like that so, so you can just see the colors in the cards a lot of imagery you've got the lion there playing with the frozen water the home card lots going on here like you've got the owl you've got the signage here you've got the fairy you've got the time you've got the tree house you've got another doorway here you've got the bird here you've got another fairy down there there's lots lots going on so learning intuitively to read perfect deck to start with i'll put the link in the description box if you wish to purchase this deck making a choice there's two choices there dry desert just beautiful look at the artistry you know if I, I pull this up a bit closer to you you can just see it's just stunning 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 now there's not many decks like this nowadays a lot of decks seem to be rushed like pumped out this deck a lot of thought a lot of messages um, about different areas of our lives this one here I read again tonight this was about it's about creativity and it's interesting I said oh you need to get back into writing you know you need to start writing and um, she said, yes, I'm a script writer and a, and a novel. So that was interesting. Education. Commitment, obviously, that relates to love. This one's about decluttering. Also, with the reading this evening, it wasn't only about decluttering. I said, oh, somebody's annoying you as well. You need to really cut ties with that one. Heal. Protecting treasure. So aren't they beautiful so i'll put the guidebook there is a meditation that you can utilize before you use the cards there's a blessing how to cleanse the cards how to read the cards different reading styles see that one there the little bunny there the doors open but are you going to go in or out This is quite sad this one sad but knowing that there's a future there this one i read also this evening was about a relationship falling apart so aren't they nice aren't they pretty wishing well talisman this came up a few times this is about you're on the right direction but then see you've got this dragon here you know that's become her and you've got the tattoos and you got all of this in i don't re recall looking at, at, at this card so clearly and then there's the yin and yang sign the balance sign i sort of feel like there's a drain here that's draining away anything that's not serving you and then you've got the runes there you've got the daisies so you know there's a lot going on there's the, the reverse of the deck there the compass as i said before leading you beautiful beautiful sensual card there about time this reminds me of the magician in tarot listening encouragement so beautiful 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 cards as i said the guidebook is quite big the cards are numbered that's how they are found in the guidebook i'm just quickly looking through the introductions it does talk about how to do a reading perhaps sample questions to ask you know what do i need to know about my relationship what can i expect from this person there's lots of cards there's explanation of the cards she has a sample reading very very good book you know it's it talks about the soul's intention and i'll just move this light over here hopefully um can get it still so you can see 
There we go. So you have here the guidebook, as I said, very strong guidebook, but you've got like the bone collector. So you've got number one, the bone collector, a quote, the upright meaning, you know, a good page and a half, and then the reversal meaning. So you've got, you know, it's quite a, quite, quite in depth there, you know, in the reverse. So I hope that you enjoy this deck. As I said, the guidebook, strong, sturdy, lovely deck. If you're looking at starting to read, this Oracle deck is indeed one that, you know, you may not want to pass up because it's been around for a while. You may find that you can get it reasonably priced. Um, also as well, you may be able to find lots of readings online and sort of to help you steer you in the right direction for your intuitions. The reverse of the deck says be interesting to see if the price was on this it says us canada 15.95 so it'd be interesting it's probably about 21 dollars today perhaps but maybe you can get these second hand imagine being the visible and the unseen and a guiding force at some core spirit the holy will the divine the field or consciousness use this card deck by colette baron reed will connect you to the larger consciousness and guide you as you travel along the journey of your life themes of these 54 cards represent some of the places you'll visit, the conditions you may encounter, and the allies and challenges you'll meet as you navigate a metaphoric map of your life's journeys. The enclosed guidebook will help you ask the right questions and interpret the messages in your readings. The enchanted map oracle cards were created in order to empower you to understand the story of your fate, destiny and free will and allow you to chart a course to live a life of deep purpose, true prosperity and vibrant love and it says the cover art and card illustration is from Vienna della Grotta Shia Maladonado hope you have said that right and it's got her website which is lovely the cover design is by Jenny Richard so you've got the thumbnail there to get the card out again it's by Hay House I don't think they have that Hay Life series anymore they have the actual Hay House there I think maybe they've got it confused another thing I found quite interesting is there's 54 cards in this deck generally nowadays they go for the 44 cards you know they sort of hit with the with the angel messages you know like let's just put 44 cards so you get 58 in in this deck how many is in this deck this is probably a recent deck does it say how many they see this this card at the back here 44 cards so it's quite interesting now that they've sort of um brought card numbers down so enjoy this review let me know what you think i'll put a link in the description box of me using this deck i am going through all my decks i will be going through the wisdom of the oracle next which is a 52 card deck and guidebook by colette baron reed very different very unique so until i see you all again thank you for liking and subscribing and putting a comment below